Hello and welcome to the Greyhound Board of Great Britain's Microchip Training Guide for Vets. This guideline can be used when inserting Datamars microchips into racing greyhounds with me, Simon Gower. Since early 2009, several brands of chip have been tested at Crayford, Monmore and Swindon Stadia where results have shown that the Datamars chip best serves the purposes of racing greyhounds. It is the least likely to migrate when inserted by a vet. This short film will provide a quick and easy step-by-step -step guide to using the Datamars microchip to implant into racing greyhounds consistently and to greyhound board recommendations. Take the packet containing the microchip implanter and the barcodes and using the scanner, scan the microchip to make sure that the reading on the scanner correlates with the barcodes in the packet. When a greyhound is presented to be microchipped, please ensure that at least an hour has elapsed since its last run. The first thing we have to do is to identify the greyhound to be microchipped. This is to be done either by the paddock steward or by a greyhound board licensed official using references such as identification books, stud books or copy of the dog's markings. The next step is to scan the greyhound using the handheld scanner to make sure that no chip is already in place. Switch the scanner on and move it in a rhythmic manner over the saddle area and the left and right neck and shoulder areas of the greyhound. Make sure the site between the shoulder blades where the chip is going to be inserted is sterilised. To do this use a cotton swab with surgical spirit and wipe the area once or twice to remove any surface dirt. The trainer or kennel hand should hold the greyhound's head as horizontal as possible to make microchipping easier. To identify the site to be microchipped, place your thumb across the top of the shoulder blades, grasp a flat platform of skin and raise a small tented area to identify the site. With the scruff of the neck in one hand and the bevel of the needle pointing upwards, rest the back of your hand against the back of the greyhound. Smoothly insert the needle level with the back of the greyhound. Next, depress the plunger to insert the microchip when the needle is fully into the scruff. It's a good idea to keep pressure on the area of the microchip insertion for about 30 seconds when withdrawing the needle. To ensure that the microchip has been inserted correctly, firstly, we just run our thumb over the implantation site and make sure we can't actually feel any of the chip protruding, which we can't. I then run the scanner over the site to identify that the chip has been inserted correctly. Fix one barcode sticker into the inside cover of the identity book as a record of the chip number. The ideal location for this is the bottom left inside cover of the stud book. A second barcode is applied to the paddock sheet which is retained as a record of the microchipping by the racing office. All remaining barcode stickers are retained by the stipendary steward for disposal. Fix a coloured GBGB sticker to the front cover to show the racing office which dogs have been chipped. It's important to remind the trainer that three clear days must elapse between the implantation of the microchip and the dog's next trial or race. This allows the microchip to settle and bind in place, reducing the risk of it migrating. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Finally, reassure the greyhound that all is well. Thank you for watching this Greyhound Board training video. For any further advice or guidance, please call the VET helpline on 020 7421 3799.